Hey everybody, before the show starts, log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to book a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me to get all your music business questions solved. Enjoy the show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover show. My name is Casey Graham and on this episode, yes, you all voted for it. It's been a long time coming. Well, quite frankly, I got tired of everybody asking me what was Song Trust. So, over 100 people voted on this video and you said you must do it and I got fed up with it on Wednesday night. So, I made one. What is Song Trust? All right? And so, on today, I'm going to break it down and I'm going to explain the difference between the type of publisher they are and I'm also going to explain the difference of whether you should use a PR role before song, a song trust or not, okay? So without further ado, you will need, if you don't know, just for your clarification purposes, you're gonna need copyright explained on this episode. I highly suggest it, all right? Now, if you wanna to donate to the channel, you can do so right over here. If you wanna skip copyright explained, you can do so right down below. But without further ado, let's jump into copyright explained. Copyright. The sole right which an author has in their own original literary compositions. The exclusive right of an author to print, publish, and vend their own literary works for their own benefit. Now, of course, there are two main rights of copy that the music industry operates and revolves around, and that's the masters and the publishing. And the masters is referred to as the sound recording copyright. Sound recordings as in records, masters, phonogram, or the audio recording file, i.e. the WAV, MP3, AIFF, of the composition and or song. Now, you can collect your master recording royalties or the proceeds due from the sale and streaming of the master recording via your distributor like TuneCore or DistroKid. And if you have a major label deal, then it's them. All right. Now, you can also collect the performance royalties via the master sound recording via SoundExchange and PPL over in the UK. SoundExchange is based here in America. And if you are outside of America, any other organization that collects these sound recording performance royalties are referred to as neighboring rights. Now, publishing is referred to as a performing arts copyright here in America. Okay, performing arts as in the composition, sheet, music, MIDI files, publishing, or song to be performed. You can collect the performance royalties for the composition via BMI, CSAC, ASCAP here in America, and PRS over in the UK, and other countries have their own performing rights organization as well to collect those royalties for you. All right, now... You can collect the mechanical royalties due from the composition via Harry Fox, Music Reports, and the Mechanical Licensing Collective here in America. You can also collect your mechanical royalties over in the UK from MCPS. So now, Lyric Fine right here. You can get your lyric display royalties from Lyric Fine and Music Match. But that's that. Let's go through the six rights of copyright to be exercised to the fullest extent of the United States Code under Title 17, and that's the right to reproduce. The right to reproduce the copyrighted work in copies or phono records, physical or digital format. The right to prepare derivative works. The right to prepare derivative works based upon the copyrighted work. The right to distribute. The right to distribute copies or phono records of the copyrighted work to the public by sale or other transfer of ownership or by rental, lease, or lending. And then we have the right to public performance, the right to perform the copyrighted work publicly, the right to public display, the right to display the copyrighted work publicly, and the right to digital performance, and that's the right to digital audio transmission performance. All right, so check this out. Really quickly before we jump into the preface, I want to say that I am speaking at the 20, what is it, 2021, man, that's been crazy, 2021 Chattanooga Hip Hop conference all right and festival if you want to give it that all right the tickets are almost sold out i'll be speaking there it's free so just grab a ticket and come on down to chattanooga tennessee i express to a lot of you all who i speak to on the phone at this number that pops up right here when uh when we have a conversation uh that the chattanooga market is a bridge market to nashville and atlanta and it would help if you had some connections in this market because they a lot of new music comes out of this market here so if you're in huntsville alabama birmingham alabama atlanta knoxville tennessee nashville tennessee maybe macon georgia savannah georgia you name it somewhere in this radius Come out to this festival, all right? Without further ado, let's jump into the video so you can get what you came for and then you can get out of here. All right, everybody. So we are back inside of the computer and we're talking about what is song trust, okay? Uh, as if you didn't already know from the introduction and the preface and the YouTube poll I took two days ago or two nights ago, one of the two, um, 
check it out, man. Look, a lot of you all don't know what Song Trust is. Even the newcomers that come in, y'all ask me about Song Trust all the time. And for some reason, everybody thinks that Song Trust is a PRO. And it's not. Okay, but they are a publisher to answer that question first. They're not a PRO. They're publishers. I'm going to tell you the type of publishers they they are. Okay, I'm going to tell you what they do. All right. I'm going to talk about sub publishing and the sweet spot of song trust. Okay, and then uh, from there, uh, we'll go into some further explanations of some things that I talked about last week on the split sheet video. By the way, if you need a, f a free split sheet, it's down in the uh, description below this video. And from every video from here on out, it will be available and it's available on musicmoneymakeover.com. Now, I hope you all watch sound, uh, um, uh, I'm not sound, uh, uh, copyright explain in the beginning of the video because it's going to help you going forth. And I'm going to pull a slide from that so that I can explain some more things and show you where they collect from. But without further ado, let's get into what is song trust. Okay, check it out. So. If you didn't know, Song Trust is not a distributor. They don't distribute your recordings to anywhere, okay? They're not Sound Exchange. Those are two different people, okay? There's Sound Exchange down there. Song Trust doesn't have anything to do with Sound Exchange. They don't even collect for Sound Exchange, so you can rule that out. They're not PPL. They're not TuneCore or DistroKid. They don't do anything with the master. They're strictly on the publishing side. Now, this is the type of stuff they collect right down below. They collect mechanical royalties, from all of these organizations, they collect these print royalties, not from Music Match, but from Lyric Fine. I'm pretty sure they collect from Music Match now, but from Lyric Fine for sure. Um, and then also they collect your performance royalties for you from BMI. Now you'll say, man, why do I need them to collect from BMI? Well, that's what publishers do. They get a piece of your publisher's share from BMI or ASCAP, CSAC, PRS, SOCAN, and all that stuff. Okay? They get a portion of the publisher's share, all right, so that that's clear. I just want to clear up MCPS down. I'm so sick of this thing. I want to clear up MCPS. MCPS has agreements, international agreements, with a lot of different countries to collect the mechanical royalties, okay? So they collect from a lot of different countries, and you can go pick up international mechanical royalties there, all right? You can do so at Harry Fox, but you got to let them know, hey, I need you to collect in these territories. OK. So that's that. Let's continue on through what Song Trust does. Now, I got to explain three types of publishers here so that you understand. All right. And then you can put Song Trust into a perspective for yourself. All right. So there are three types of publishers. OK. And these are the deals. There's a co-publisher. Co-publishing equals an ownership, Spe uh, more specifically 25 to 25, uh, 25 to 50 percent. OK, now ownership doesn't necessarily mean they do all the back end paperwork for you. So though ownership stakes can go as low as one percent, most companies that operate as publishers secure shares starting at 20 percent and higher. OK, a co-publisher doesn't necessarily mean they will administrate your publishing, i.e. collect your revenue for you. All right. You will have to seek administration services elsewhere. Now, that's a bad deal when you got a co-publisher that doesn't do administration work, but then they're asking for 20 percent or higher. That's not a good deal for you. OK, I'm just giving you some game. Song Trust is not a co-publisher. Let's keep rolling. All right. Check this out. The administrator equals revenue stakes of 20 percent to 25 percent. Now, administrators collect your revenue for all of the song registration, including copyright registration, and they maintain all of your song usage requests as well as synchronization requests. And they possibly will pursue synchronization uh, op uh, opportunities for you as well when they're, when, when they're at this level, okay? Song Trust is not an administrator, okay? Let's keep rolling. So the collector equals a revenue stake of 15%. Collectors act very similar to administrators, except they take little to no percentage of your song usage request and synchronization fees. OK, Song Trust is a collection agent. Obviously, they're taking 15 percent. They have no ownership in your songs, but they kind of help you with all of the back end registration. And to my knowledge, everything except for copyright registration. OK, so that's who Song Trust is. And that's what they do. Now, 
when I said in the beginning they collect from, you know, the mechanical societies, the print societies, the performance societies, Song Trust operates all over the world. Okay? They do. And for that reason, they collect from agencies all over the world. All right? Now, in that case, this is what I mean. Now, they Song Trust, this is the sweet spot of Song Trust I, I, I like because they have agreements in countries and sub-publishing agreements in countries where you can't get into as an artist yourself or a publisher or, you know, until you kind of get up there, you have some weight to throw around. Uh, throw around. So sub-publishing is the act of obtaining publishing revenue from countries that do not have international agreements in your country with your country's respective societies. Now, you may see that I have uh, these countries highlighted in different colors. That's because these countries are represented in blocks or different groups that represent a set amount of countries. And what happens is Song Trust goes in to these groups and they do sub publishing deals with them so that they can collect the money and bring it back overseas. Now, one country I didn't see on the list was India, but I'm pretty sure they collect for India and you can't go into India by yourself without a sub publishing agreement with someone there in India. Okay. South Korea, um, you can direct the Harry Fox agency to collect from Comca. I want to say that right. K O M C A. But if you don't let them know, they won't collect for you. So there's a bit of game, okay? On the flip side, the, the performance royalties are sent via ASCAP from South Korea. But in order to get around all this jargon and stuff, they just went directly into South Korea, okay? So as you can see, they collect from Slovenia, Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina. I don't even know if I said that right. Macedonia, Montenegro. Albania, China, Hong Kong. You might say, why, why is China separate from Hong Kong? Because Hong Kong is a different administrative province from the other sides of China. So there's two. All right. Malaysia, Taiwan, even though Hong Kong is not a country. I'm just saying. And then you have this other block, the Russian Federation, Armenia, Azerbaijan. I don't, man, I, I butchered that so bad. Belarus, Kazakhstan. I don't even know what that is, but it's there. Moldova. Tajikistan, I hope I said that right, Turkmenistan, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, all right, Algeria, Bahrain, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, Oman, Palestine, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Sudan, Tunisia, the United Arab Emirates, and Yemen and Turkey. All right, once again, these are in different blocks. That's why they're highlighted in different colors and different organizations represents these blocks of countries right here okay so this is their sweet spot this is what they do that you ain't gonna do yourself so if you ain't gonna do this work yourself i recommend checking out song trust and i recommend song trust over the cd babies publishing administration and the tune core publishing administration because that's not what they do you know what i mean like song trust this is what they do they don't do anything else but publishing and I would rather deal with Song Trust than having to deal with a distributor that takes care of publishing. That's a nightmare right there. So Song Trust is your best bet. Hang tight. I'm going to switch the screen really quickly. All right. So now we are back on the split sheet that I did last week. Okay. And if you want this split sheet, you can just click on the description below the video and download it from the website. You can get it free or you can donate 99 cents. Thank you for those who have don donated 99 cents to the channel. Now, check it out. When I said the publisher administration percentage right here, I was talking about Song Trust last week. See, when I say the publisher uh, percentage should reflect the same percentage as a writer, so let's say as a writer you have 10%, and then and for your publishing stake you have 10% because you are your own publisher, the next thing you're going to do is put down who is the administrator, right? You're going to put down the CAE IPI number, and then you're going to put down the administrator percentage, which in this case will be Song Trust, and that's 15%. Okay? Now, if you go to Song Trust, they're going to do this for you, but for your split sheet, it's just going to be written in on your split sheet. You're not going to do the PRO registration anymore. It is going to be handled through Song Trust. Okay? Check it out, and I'm going to show you how it's going to show up in two different areas or two different PROs. So, I don't know who this guy is. I just went into Song Trust's catalog with ASCAP. Clearly, you can see they have 961,533 works, according to Thursday, September 16th. 
whoever this guy is that has 304s, I don't know what that is, but it is what it is. His publisher, his publishing company is Northside Hustler Music, okay? So if he was doing that, it would end up right here, Northside Hustler's Music. And then he would put down his publisher's percentage, in which in this case, he owns 100%. So he put down 100%. The publisher administration administrator percentage, which is song trust, would be 15%. So you write that in, 15%. And then it will appear like this. Northside Hustler Music in care of in care of Hustle, Northside Hustler Music would be Song Trust app, all right? That's the publisher entity for Song Trust. That's the DBA. The DBA for Song Trust right here. All right. And then that's the clearance number, and then that's the clearance email. That's how it shows up. Now on the flip side, let me show you with J. Cole's middle child. They represent Tracklib Publishing, okay? Tracklib Publishing is based in STIM, which is Sweden, okay? But they use BMI and the international agreement with BMI and Sweden to represent Sweden through BMI, probably in the international office of BMI in UK, okay, in London, and that's how they did their deal. And then as you can see, ST Music LLC, or Song Trust Boulevard, which is the DBA of ST Music LLC. There's the same number and the clearance email and then the website. And so they show up exactly like it would be right over here. You would put the main publisher down and then you would put your publisher administrator's percentage right there. Okay? So that's that. That's that. All right? Now, another part of the sweet spot of Song Trust is this. Their software. All right? You ain't going to get this nowhere else unless you're purchasing the software yourself to maintain all of the data on the Excel spreadsheets that come in. All right. The only way you're going to be able to see this data is if you have the software to run it yourself, which is for some people a little bit expensive. OK, but as I'm saying, they even have set list submission through SongTrust. When you do this stuff, OK, it can be a little confusing. I recommend if you're an artist and your head is probably exploding by this point and you don't want to do all this, but just register your songs and get out of there. Song trust is to go for you or or see, because you may start at song trust, but then you might want better services. That's when you go get a publisher that can work with you one on one and you can figure out and you all can sit down and get a game plan together. If you want an advance for your publishing, this ain't the place for you. All right. You want writer relationships you want to get more hands-on with artists song trust ain't the place for you all right song trust is strictly for those who do all the hard work themselves and they just want one place to register this stuff and get the money in one place and that's it they don't want anybody else in their business they ain't trying to get into oh i gotta get a publishing deal and get some advance money and blah 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 all right, song trust is just strictly hardcore, straight up, point blank, black and white. Register my song, give me my money, and you can have 15%. That's what song trust is. No a la carte services, no special services, no relationships, none of that stuff like that. Okay? And that's it. Boom. We out of here. Hey, everybody. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understood the differences between song trust and doing things yourself. And then, you know, if it's going to be beneficial for you or not. All right. Uh, until next time, log on to musicmoneymakeover.com. If you want to book a call, you can do so there. If you want to download the split sheet, again, it's down below in the description, down below. And then the uh, free guide is down below as well. All right. Next time, I'll see you all later. Peace. Thanks for watching the show. Log on to musicmoneymakeover.com forward slash shop to download all my books and free guides. And while you're there, click on the book a call tab to get a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me to get all your music business questions answered and solved. Thanks for watching.